Hi, welcome to FDM Fantastic. This week's topic is having kids. And I, my video is going to be pretty short this week because I really don't have a lot to elaborate on when it comes to this topic. So I don't want kids. I'm not a person who wants to spend every waking hour or a great portion of my time around kids, even though I have nothing against them. I think they're funny. I think that they're cool. You know, I like them, but not all the time. <laughs> uh, I do want my friends to have children so that I can be like some sort of uncle figure. And I like the idea of having an influence on a young person and being able to provide them with the kind of support sort of that I felt that I would have needed when I was younger but I don't want kids of my own, and this has never changed throughout my entire life, so I don't think it's gonna change in the future, even though it's it's definitely possible, you know, as you grow, as people around you that you know start having kids, maybe I will change my mind, but I really do not think so. The only time I've ever thought that I have wanted kids was back when I was just not questioning it, you know, just assuming that you had to have kids if you could, because that was just, like the thing that you did, like everyone sort of had kids, which is not true, but it was just sort of an assumption that I had because that's like the normalized path through life. But even before I knew I was trans and, and back when I just, you know, assumed that I would have to have kids someday, I really did not like the idea of being pregnant and particularly giving birth. I was like repulsed at the thought, not the thought of other people being pregnant, but the thought of like me being pregnant and giving birth. It's just still, it's just like, ah, like I, I feel like I would feel so trapped in that situation. I get, I get it. It's like, it's the miracle of nature and it's like really cool. And it is like, it is, you're bringing a new life into this world, but I personally just have never wanted to to do that. <laughs> um, and that was obviously something that before I knew I was trans particularly, um, and when I just assumed that this was something that you have had to do, you know, like have kids, I I thought, you know, I would like to adopt because I, I, I can't, I can't, you know, be pregnant. I can't give birth. Like I would hate doing that. And, uh, People around me would be like, oh, you know, you're going to change your mind. You know, it's it's a fantastic experience. I would be like, sure, but no. <laughs> so, uh, but there are, you know, there are trans people um, that do have biological children before they come out as trans or after they come out as trans. There are trans men that become pregnant and have children. And I think that's really cool. And, and that's something that's important to know. Um, about trans people if you're going to be an ally that you can't just assume that none of us can have biological children because a lot of us can and a lot of us do and a lot of us want to uh just like anyone else but it's also pretty common for at least i've seen in the trans masculine community there are a lot of trans masculine people that really do not like the idea of being pregnant and they really don't want that to happen to them and it can have to do with dysphoria. Of course, it can also just be a personal preference that has nothing to do with dysphoria. But, you know, what is what, it can be kind of hard to determine. That's sort of all I have to say for this week, honestly. So I will see you guys next week. And yeah, until then, have a nice week. Take care of yourselves, everything like that. I have a test on Thursday, so wish me luck because I haven't started studying yet. I'm very late. I know. I managed the last test. My brain is good. My brain is good when it actually, you know, does its work. <laughs> okay, whatever. I will see you guys next week. I love you. Bye.